Okay, this is my uh, fight prediction for Keith one-time Thurman against Dejan Zavik. Okay, first of all, I admit from the start I am a Keith Thurman fan. Um, and I hope, fingers crossed, to get an interview with him in the near future on Bayloric TV. Um, Keith Thurman, unbeaten. I think he just recently won the NABO Championship at welterweight, beating uh, Carlos Quintana. A lot of people thought Quintana was going to give him a tough fight. But um, Thurman, big puncher, and uh, he don't mess about. He's a bad man, a real bad man. Um, people ask me, what are your thoughts on uh, Keith Thurman? And um, I can't help but look at him and say David Hay, the welterweight version of David Hay. Um, the guy can punch. I mean, he can real punch. And um, But I looked, I've looked a little bit more at Thurman, and uh, he's pretty good against South Force. He spent in the gym many hours, many weeks, many months, sparring, years sparring with uh, Ronald Winky Wright. You know how a defensive wizard he was, and a southpaw, a tricky southpaw. So uh, Thurman learned, has learned his trade pretty good. You know, got a lot of respect for him. But even guys that I have a lot of respect for, and a lot of uh, um, admiration for, find him exciting, are some shortcomings. Um, as of yet, Thurman's yet to go 12 rounds, not to say he can't do it. As of yet, we're yet to see Thurman off the back, fighting off the back foot and somebody hurting him and putting him in a real crisis. Well, I haven't seen it. Um, I'm still looking for it. Um, of course, I want to see Thurman go on and win a world title, and he's one of the guys I'm backing to win a world title in the future. But I learned this lesson with, um, going back to Nigel Benn, when he fought Michael Watson, he was coming up, he was knocking everybody out um, and he was knocking them out real bad in a similar fashion to way Keith Thurman is knocking guys out I mean he's knocking people out and he does that afterwards when he knocks them out which is great and, you know it's all exciting but Thurman to me um, and it's only just my impression I could be talking a whole lot of rubbish and a lot of people probably say I am but he seems to me he's one that loads up a lot loads up and bombs people out almost Similar to the way Julian Jackson used to be. You know, you know, Jackson used to just boom and knock you out. Boom, knock guys out. And uh, Thurman can punch. Question mark is, can he take it himself? What's he like when he starts getting hit in the chin with the same sort of power he's been hitting people with? Is he going to go to sleep? He's going to be able to take it. Uh, one man who was very good at giving it out and taking it was Drew McLennan. Now, if Thurman's chin is as good as his punch... We have a real bad man to watch out for, and he's got good stamina. We've got a real bad man to watch out for. But my concern is, when he loads up, he's loading up, he's really loading up with his shots, you are able to be counter-punched, and you leave yourself wide open to get caught with punches. Um, and you can, there's a, there's a possibility you could um, punch yourself out. Thurman is an excellent finisher. If he gets you hurt, another thing I like about him, he'll take you out. I mean, he really, really, he won't mess around. He's not there for overtime. And those are the things I like about him. Like I said, those are the short, th those are the things I'm a bit concerned about. What happens when he's in a long 12-round fight and the guy can take his power, starts throwing punches back, and um, can put him under pressure? We don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, I hope that Thurman can come through and go on and win the title. In the other corner, Dejan Zavek. What can I say? Um, he fought with Jacob, uh, uh, Rafael Djakovic twice. Um, Djakovic beat him first time. He came back and beat him um, and won the uh, world championship from him. Um, this guy, Dejan, from what I see of him, he, he does hold his hands up pretty nicely. Um, he blocks punches with his, with his gloves, which is nice. And he has nice, fast hands. Don't know if he's a big puncher. His record wouldn't suggest he's a big puncher. But he's got good stamina. He's got decent work rate. And um, if you're not fit, I'm sure that he can outwork you. Coming into this fight, I've heard a lot of people say on YouTube, Ah, oh, yeah, Thurman's going to blow him away. Well, Thurman's a big puncher and knock him out. Yeah, I'm sure if Thurman catches you clean on the chin and knock you out. But uh, Dejan's 
Sarek's not been knocked out. Not to my knowledge, he's been knocked out. And uh, Berto hit him with some great shots. And even then, Berto stopped him on cuts. And uh, it wasn't a walk in the park for Andre Berto. Uh, from what I saw, Zarek was definitely fighting back. Even when he was back to begin the ropes, he was fighting back. He was tucking up and throwing off those fast combinations. So I think this is a good fight for Keith Thurman. Um, and I think, for me... This is a good testing fight for Keith Thurman because you've got a man here that um, I don't think Zavitt's going to run from, from Keith Thurman. I think it'll take the center of the ring with Keith Thurman, which makes for an exciting fight. Two guys coming forward. Um, if Zavitt can take the power of Keith Thurman and keep coming, we're in for a real treat. We're in for a real treat. Um, however, if uh, Keith Thurman's speed overwhelms Zavitt, um, I can see... Uh, Zavik being stopped in rounds 8 to 10 but um, see the thing with this fight for me people say oh well, what are you talking about the thing for me in this fight is you never know how good someone is until they're really tested and I think this is a good fight to see what Thurman can do I believe Thurman is it's good real good but um, this will be a first for me, a live opponent, I consider him live, Zavik. I don't think he's a bum at all. Um, he tucks up well, like I said, he throws nice fast combinations. And um, I can see if he's able to absorb what Thurman um, throws, I can see Zavik throwing punches back as Thurman's got him against the ropes. I can see him unloading as well. And I think that Thurman's going to get hit back in this fight. And we'll see. If Thurman gets dropped by a guy like Zavik, who isn't a one-punch knockout artist and not known for his punching power as such, he's known more for his technical skills, if he's to get dropped by this guy, it'll be interesting. So I'm going with Thurman for this fight, but it's by no means a walkover, and uh, I think it could be some interesting moments. I'm looking for Thurman to stop this fight, anything from rounds 8 to 10. And if he does stop Zavik, it's a good win. So that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think. I think Zavich is a good European fighter. World class? I'm not sure. I think he's short of world class. Um, but um, yeah, I, I think this will be an interesting fight. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, leave your comments. Um, this is Valoric TV. I'm out.